With the sunshine comes the dawn in another day Still another dream has come and slipped away Scattered visions of the things you want to be Make you open up your mind and try to see how to make dreams come true Oh, life is but a dream Nothing comes to sleepers but a dream Oh, life is but a dream Nothing comes to sleepers but a dream Ships sailing on the ocean. 
There's a time when the sea gets rough But the fishes, they just move with the sea We're tired to a modern now Every day I watch you move like lightning speed What you got to do is sit, sit down, down, relax And patiently you're like a fish in the sea You got to hold on You got to hold on Fisherman say Big ships sailing on the ocean Big ships sailing on the ocean Big ships sailing on the ocean With only locomotion Big ships sailing on the ocean Say what my daddy say What your daddy say? Say what my daddy say He said, "Boy." He said, "Who?" He said, "Boy." He said, "Who?" He said, "Sail away, sail away, sail away, sail away, sail away, sail away, boy." Who sail away? Big ships sailing on the ocean. Big ships sailing on the ocean. Big ships sailing on the ocean. We don't need locomotion Big ships sailing on the ocean One time! Uh. Put it back! Uh. Right! Bum 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 bum
gentlemen, this first, uh, these first uh, delightful ladies that we would like to meet <laughs> are probably some of the uh, craziest people here for the SS Independence and their leader. <laughs> Everybody say aloha to Cousin Cat. Cousin Cat heads up the gift shops here aboard the SS Independence. Cat is uh, sporting a wonderful ensemble here today, and uh, I think this might be something that they can actually purchase in the shops. This is one of our new 2001 apparels. We have wonderful black tissue pearls, and she's also sporting some wonderful jewelry. Also, do they, can they buy the shoes there too? No, okay. Cat actually is very famous uh, here in the Hawaiian Islands. She's famous for our catwalk. That's why she's given the nickname Cat. So she's going to have a little bit of a sample, a demonstration with her ladies of her catwalk. Everybody say, go Cat! Oh, yeah. <laughs> she turned it all red. Cat just got back from vacation. We love her because she heads up the gift shop and uh, also known as Cruise Director Specials, SS Independence Crew 2001 hats are available now, so we want to let you know. Uh, Kat and our delightful ladies in the gift shop will be happy to service all of your needs for the gift shop. A nice round of applause once again for our gift shop ladies. Ray Kennedy, entertainers. <laughs> gentlemen we have a wonderful night plan for you countdown from 10 all the way down to zero once we get to just zero we're going to see these streamers and we're all going to say aloha out there here we go everybody countdown as loud as you can for us if you would please and 10 9 8 7 i can't hear you a little bit louder get ready to party
Ooh, not many. How many of you are ready to party tonight? How many of you are ready to party all week? Yeah. Time, relax, enjoy the music of the boy boy. Here's a song taking out. I saw it to the ocean. Catching that wave. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and aloha. aloha! Welcome to the Hoi Hoi Show. Thanks for the master's formal reception party this evening. I uh, must say mahalo. Thanks to each and every one of you. So many wonderful comments as you came through the line tonight. The week has just begun. Well, I guess I'm no longer a cruise director. I'm now a purser. <laughs> Anybody who well, most people don't come to claim it, you know, right away. So I will be located right over there for anybody who's lost it matches a little bit at least. <laughs> well, we'd like to introduce the master of the SS Independence at this time and our senior officers and staff. But first, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the master of the SS Independence, Captain Evans Hoyt. SS Independence. On behalf of American Hawaii Cruises, I'd like to extend my thanks to each of you for 
for choosing to make passage to 2001 along with us. The Independence is our floating home. And during your week with us, we hope that you'll look upon it as your floating home as well. We operate the only American-flagged, American-owned, ocean-going cruise ships in the world. Yay! Oh. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. But what really makes this ship special is your people. I'm very proud of the staff we have here, and I think you'll agree with me by the end of the week that it is they who make this a truly special cruise line. We also have a fantastic port of call itinerary for you. There's no other grouping of cruise ports located this close together anywhere in the world that can match the splendor of the Hawaiian Islands. The Polynesians who first discovered and settled these islands were great navigators. They saw their land through seafarers' eyes by way of the coasts and passages between the islands. And now with us, you too have the opportunity to explore these islands by way of the sea. But first, I'd like to tell you a little of the history of the steamship independence. She was built at Bethlehem Steel in Quincy, Massachusetts in 1951 at a cost of $25 million. She was the largest passenger ship ever to be built in New England. Now this is obviously a good deal of money back in 1951, but by comparison, $60 million has been spent on our refurbishment. And our next ship, which is being built in shipyard now, will cost over $400 million. Now American Export Lines, the original owner of the Indy, lost three of their four passenger ships in the Second World War. To help them rebuild, and to make sure the independence would be built strong enough to be a troop ship in time of need, the US government paid for half of her initial cost. At the time of her building, she was the fastest ship in the U.S. Merchant Marine. As a passenger vessel, she was built to carry 1,003 passengers in premier style. As a troop transport, she could carry 5,000 troops and all their associated gear in what we can only guess was probably less than first-class accommodations. <laughs> she began a career on the transatlantic run between New York and Naples. At this time, it was a 22-day round trip with stops at Gibraltar, Cannes, and Genoa. The run was known as the Sun Lane Route, and the Independence proudly carried the American flag to the Mediterranean, while the SS United States did the same on the North Europe run for US lines. By 1955, there were 70 transatlantic passenger ships in service. The following year, Pan Am introduced the Boeing 707 aircraft into the same service, and as a result, that year, more people traveled to Europe by air than by sea. So as transatlantic passenger service by sea continued to decline, the independence gradually expanded our itinerary in an effort to attract more of a cruise-oriented market. Nevertheless, by 1968, due to the increasing costs and declining passenger counts, the independence and her sister ship, the Constitution, were taken out of service and destined to spend the next seven years laid up in quiet back. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Showtime here in the Hoi Moi Showplace tonight. Our ushers at Grauman's Chinese Theater are very proud to take you on a musical, magical journey of dreams through Hollywood. Let's go to the movies! <laughs> Thank you. 
hand basket and the world in which you dwell is no paradise i'm some counsel i can give you need but ask it i'm so very glad to share this good advice you face reality, the more you start. So close your eyes and you become a movie star. Why must you stay where you are? You've got to learn how not to see what you see. The slice of hell you call your life is harsh and mean.
board pants and we had to be a table, be a sports car, ice cream cone. Mr. Carp, he would say, very good, except Morales, try Morales all alone. So I dug right down to the bottom of my soul to see what I had.
we're going to do medley of songs that, uh, well, back in the 60s, they were very popular, and uh, they still are today. These are what we call Hapa Haole melodies. Hapa is the Hawaiian word for half. Haole means not of Hawaii. So these are songs that were written in English, put to Hawaiian melodies. See if you know any of them.
Now, how many of you know what Ohana means? What does Ohana mean? Restaurant. No, it doesn't mean thank you. It doesn't mean restaurant. It means family. Yes, thank you very much. And that comes from our cakey child kiddo. <laughs> so this is the family room. Just like family room, Ohana, Ohana lounge, family room. So, welcome to our parlor. And being that it's a family room, we like to do family things. So, I mean, let me ask, how many people here in the hula class? I only have one lesson, okay. No wonder I saw you going through the morning. Are you learning that song, Little Grass Shack? Great. How about uh, people in the ukulele class? All right. Two lessons. <laughs> Let's see. You're like Ferris Bueller. <laughs> Not one lesson. Two and lessons. I sound good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who's the ukulele teacher this week? Is it um, Joe or is it uh, Wayne? Elias. 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 All right. Good, good. Well, you know, here, like we mentioned, this is the family room. So if you have the urge to come up and dance a hula, more than welcome to do it. If if you wanted to come, where's your ukulele in your cabin? <laughs> you didn't say it, right? <laughs> you only know four chords. That's okay. That's one more than we know. So if you feel like singing, dancing, whatever, you just come up and join us. Just oh up. yes, that's Please. what it's all about: sharing and having a lot of fun here in the Ohana Lounge. You know, we're we're very happy to be here this evening because uh, we have an opportunity to to share with you different styles of. Uh, what we call island music, and of course, music here in Hawaii has been influenced in many different ways by many different uh, grooves and rhythms that have come into the uh, islands here. So you might hear something that sounds familiar, yet it has an island flavor to it. So if there's something you'd like to hear, let us know. We'll be more than happy to do it for you. Here's a song that um, was recorded uh, by a group. By the name of the Ka'au Crater Boys. It's an old remake from a, a group called the Cascades. Listen to the rhythm of the falling rain. You're telling me just what a fool I've been. I wish that it would go and let me cry in vain.
Sings an island chant of long ago. 